Hello guys and welcome back to automation. In today's topic of WebDriver, I'm going to talk about finding elements by using class, by link name, by partial link name, by tag, xpath and CSS. In a previous tutorial, we talked about finding elements by ID and name. Today we'll go a step forward. So let's get started. We shall be using this particular website which we used last time called Mercury Tools for our test. Now we should click on this link called register. So let me go and spy the properties of register. Okay. So as you can see here, the only property worth mentioning over here is the inner text called register, which is the same as the name present here. The other properties have got numbers in it and um, that means it is likely to change. So if you are going to click or if you are going to perform an action on a link using its inner text, we shall use a method find elements by link text. So let's go ahead and write that down. Driver dot find element by link text we'll go ahead and copy our link text register here and dot click it should click on the particular link let's go ahead and try this so our application has opened up and uh, it should click on register okay it's loading Okay, yeah, it landed on the registration page. Now, sometimes uh, in our applications, you will see that our registration, sorry, that our uh, links do not have a constant inner text. They might be something like login Tom, login Jill, and they keep changing. So, how do we click on such links? You can use a part of the link which is constant and which is unique in order to click it. So here REGIST if I use a part of this link I can see that it's always constant because it will always be there in this link and no other links have the same text. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and type driver dot find element by partial link text and in this I will give the part of my link which is constant and which is unique dot click I'll comment off my earlier code and now let me run this so it opens up our application Mm -hmm. and yeah it went ahead and clicked on register it's taking a bit time to load the page okay now apart from these two which we have learned right now we also have got uh, we can find elements by using tag name and by using class name. Now we should know that uh, whenever you are finding elements by using this method find element the element should be only one. What I mean to say is it should be unique. Now classes when developers create test pages they assign the property class to more than one element. So there is a high chance of it failing but if you feel that there is a class which is used only once then you can go ahead and type driver dot find element by class name and you can go ahead and type in or paste in your unique class name here and perform any action of your choice either click or send keys just type in click 
the same thing is applicable also for tag so driver dot find element by tag again as you all know that tags are never unique that more than one element will have the input tag more than one element will be having the you know uh, some other tag called table or something else so it's usually never unique so these two properties by tag name and class name are usually not used so unique tag name again if the tag is not unique you will get an error that more than one element exists on the web page okay you can also give i mean find a minute you can also find uh, you can also find a lot of uh, elements by using xpath and css we learn how to generate our own xpaths we learn how to even generate css at a later stage but if you do have them ready in your hand then this is how you should use them driver dot find element by and use xpath and give your xpath here dot click you can give it anything you want the same thing can be followed also for css css selector give it a unique css dot click so these are the other ways in which you can find out your web element and perform an operation click or send keys on them okay now in the next tutorial we we'll learn uh, how what do you mean by find elements yeah, element with an s so we we'll learn what is the difference between find element and find elements if you have any questions in today's session kindly comment below